This week, I posted a blog about people who are stuck, just feet nailed to the ground, can't seem to take any action that they need to take to move forward in disentangling themselves from their ex. So when you're stuck, if you're stuck, really, you're just in a model. And a model is five things. You have the facts of the problem. You have a certain thought about that problem. And that thought is keeping you stuck. It gives you a feeling. It might be fear. There are other feelings that keep you stuck. And you can read about them in my blog. When you have that feeling, you take action, which is usually inaction when you feel stuck. And that results in you not moving forward at all. So you're just in a bad model if you're stuck. Let's look at one of the models that I found a client in this week. Not that one. Here we are. Okay, this is one of the stuck models that I see. Client comes to me. She was in a highly abusive marriage for over 20 years. She stayed in this marriage, lots of physical, verbal abuse. That's her circumstance. The separation is also highly abusive, not paying any child support. He abandoned her basically. He's disparaged her, cut off the whole family from her, including the stepchild, just nasty. When she was telling me about her history, the one thing that kept coming through is this idea, which is just a thought, it's not his fault. When he hit me, he was drinking. He had some problems with alcohol. He had trouble with his upbringing. He had a bad relationship with his parents. He has mental health er issues. The title of the book, It's Not His Fault. It's Not His Fault seems like a very altruistic thought to have, but it's a thought that might keep you stuck in a very ugly situation because it gives, makes you feel a lot of loyalty and compassion towards someone that it will not serve you to feel loyalty and compassion toward. So what do you do? Well, you end up being a sitting duck. You stay in the marriage till he finally leaves, which is exactly what my client did. And what doesn't she do? Well, she doesn't hire a lawyer that will be effective. She doesn't get the coaching that she needs. She goes off work on disability. She basically is now a target. Um, she's just not moving. She engages in ridiculous me mediation, entertains mediation with poor disclosure. She's just stuck because it's not his fault. And she, she's still going to feel loyalty and compassion, not serving her, not keeping her or her daughter safe. So the result for her is she continues to be abused. And now she's very much a party to this. So let's get her unstuck from this, shall we? Same exact circumstance, highly abusive marriage, nasty separation, doing all the nasty abusive things still. So you can feel compassion if you must, but I want you to give equal air time to the thought that I am 100% responsible for my, for my own and my child's safety, for our physical safety, for our financial safety, for our mental well being. This is my job. I'm a mama bear. I'm up for it. Makes you feel a lot more like a fierce warrior. That's how I want my girls feeling, not like this crazy, weird, bonded loyalty thing going on. What do you do? What action do you take when you have these feelings? You do all the things you need to do. You get your ducks in a row. You go from being a sitting duck to somebody who gets their ducks in a row. Person who develops a fierce team around them. Person who starts to stockpile some money so they have a war chest to fund their legals. A person who hires the best possible lawyer and coach to help them in their battle. No longer the sitting duck somebody with all their ducks in a row, somebody who creates safety for herself and her daughter.